it's funny how you can be really sentimental <laughs> about a piece of metal. <laughs> Today I just had the delivery of a new sewing machine, retiring my baby here because she's been playing up quite a bit in the past few months. Sorry darling. And as we're entering a busy part of the year in terms of orders, I really need a reliable straight stitch machine. I feel kind of bad. This baby was bought off of eBay. The lady that was selling it was a retired sewing machinist. Uh, she'd worked in factories for most of her life. But she needed to downsize. It was also my first industrial machine. It's worked hard for uh, the past 10 years or so, sewing away, making clothing. Unfortunately, all my efforts to rectify the problem that it has at the moment have proven fruitless to say the least. So I had to bite the bullet and for the first time I've actually bought a brand new industrial sewing machine. All of my machines up to this point have all been second hand. It's been an absolute workhorse. It's sewn through every fabric I pretty much could uh, throw at it. Once I started working with this there was no way I was going to go back to sewing with just domestic machines. There's just no comparison. So I won't be getting rid of her, but she'll be basically doing alteration, upcycling, that sort of thing. So the new machine that's turned up today is a Juki. I did intend to actually film it arriving, but I was so anxious just because it was so busy outside. It's a big piece of equipment and it was blocking the uh, pavement, so wasn't exactly making me popular with the uh, the general public trying to pass by. So I was just so focused on getting it off the pallet that I, yeah, I just completely forgot to film any of it. But we've now got to move it upstairs, which is the part that I least look forward to because this is a very old building with very narrow stairs. So it's, it's always an absolute mare getting machines into the workshop. We'll have to move around everything up here to make room for it. So it's the next day after delivery of this machine. Oh my god, I am absolutely knackered lugging this up several flights of stairs. Oh my poor back. My body just hates me today. <laughs> so it's been put back together and then the next big thing to do is to rearrange all of the sewing machines in this room. Feng Shui, <laughs> the sewing room, a bit. Might as well do some cleaning whilst I'm moving everything around. Figuring out what works for me and allows me to get to everything I need to get to easily. The patterns, trimmings, going from one stage to the next stage and sewing, all this sort of stuff. Yeah, I'm just still figuring it out. <laughs> I have no solid plan, just a vague idea. The overlocker has a chute that leads into a bin. I need to put it in the right place so that the bin can actually fit. So ideally I'll need this against a wall like that. My original plan had been to do straight stitch, overlocker, cover stitch, but that's not gonna work. Just having it in a line of progression in terms of how you would normally sew. That's, yeah, it's not gonna work.
So the idea here is to be basically lining these machines up in pairs up next to the electrical sockets. In the case of over here though, this is just going to be too close to this. I mean I could turn that around that way or I could put it over here. Yeah I think actually having it over in this far corner over here might be the better solution. So much faff for one extra machine eh? Right. Let's get moving all this stuff. As you can probably tell from the uh, <laughs> the lean on that bookcase, I have a very uh, uneven floor in here, part and parcel of an old building like this. <laughs> just skip to the end. So as you can see the uh, studio revamp has finished everything's in its place and you can see I'm uh, pretty settled in already uh, <laughs> by the amount of mess and bits and pieces all over the place um, but let's uh, take a bit of a tour. So as you can see here we've got all the pattern pieces and then the flow goes through to trims then we go over to the sewing. So we've got the overlocker here, straight stitch, cover stitch and then we have my other straight stitch over there. So it's much improved the flow of work around here. I can't believe I didn't do this sooner. <laughs> it, it feels much better. Over in this corner we've got some more trimmings and stuff in the boxes there and then over in this corner here there's a lot of finishing trims and uh, other items, including the foot press. Got some more pattern pieces here, because that was pretty much the only place I could put it, to be honest. And then over to here, we've got the uh, iron. This is my other sewing machine that does a few little things. It has a walking foot to it. And there's all my labels and stuff. Size labels and uh, brand labels. And some more trims. This has really made this this room much more cohesive. We've got a nice big space in the middle so I'm not tripping over things all the time. It's much easier to get to these pattern pieces now. In fact both rails and this rail it's much easier now to get to all of these because they used to be next to each other. It was a bit of a squeeze to get to some of them. Moving the trims over into that corner is uh, just perfect. I can get to them so much more easily now. The pattern pieces do get in the way a little bit, but it's not that bad. And with the straight stitch and the cover stitch next to each other, I can just literally turn around on my chair and um, go from one to the other. Don't need to scoot around or anything. As you can see, I'm right in the middle of doing various orders. So I suppose I'd better get on with that. Subscribe! <laughs>